I'm Danita Young. And I'm Forbes Riley, and welcome to More Than Fitness. So what Danita and I have put together here is a conversation, and I think you're going to enjoy this, because the two of us are fitness professionals, but we stay young, happy, healthy, and energetic because we do More Than Fitness. Correct. But before we talk about that, we actually do fitness. <laughs> and welcome to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness podcast. Get your best booty and abs in 30 days with your own coach and home gym. Results or your money back. Studies show that 80% of women gain the weight back within 12 months, and this is because the weight loss industry is just focusing on that one-size-fits-all solution rather than something that's more specific for just you. So not anymore because up here at BootyBands.com, you're going to get your own coach, a women's home gym, and the highest quality nutrition that's going to create those lasting results. So let's get started. Tell everybody about your business. Uh, so Booty Bands, which is self-love from the inside out, which works more of the lower body. And then I've got Spin Gym, which is the upper body. And we'll talk a little bit more about our fitness products towards the end of this. But let's dive right in because you're part of our community. We both have created a whole group of men and women who like to get motivated. Because the truth is, I'll, every once in a while I go to the gym, but the truth is I go to my computer and I work out or I sit somewhere at home like you guys are doing. But let's talk about what does the word community actually mean to you? It should be where women come together or men come together and they can really share their journey and share their transformation with everyone and have challenges and be able to really grow amongst a group. One of the loneliest things I've ever found is me, my headphones, and the gym. Or even in a class, I would feel kind of isolated. And I think one of the things that we both discovered, because we're, we're girls, we like to talk. Yes. And I, you know, it's funny, I have a theory about this. You know Mary Kay? Yes. Mary Kay is a cosmetic company, right? And it's where women sell to women in parties. Mm -hmm. But Mary Kay is long dead. Mm. And it's a billion dollar business. So you have to go, wait a second, how does that still survive? And I think it's because we have CVS, you can go for, buy makeup, you have Sephora, but I think we like to talk, don't we? And just share ideas? We do, and we like to share our journey. I also think one of the biggest issues that we both experience in training people and having tremendous success, I've had people who lost 30 pounds in our 10 week challenges. It's awesome. But they'll go home or they'll have something happen and then they start to eat. And you're like, wait a second, so you got the fitness part. You know that food and like a, a lettuce and a brownie are not very different. But there was something in your head that clicked and you went back to old behaviors and you blew it, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have a story of somebody who you just witnessed that and it uh, hurt so much? Yeah, I took a deep breath right there. Um, it definitely affects me as, as I have done personal training for a number of years. And there was a girl that I, many girls absolutely in fact, that I would take down these amazing workouts. We would kill these workouts. Right. And then I would come to find out that they would go sabotage it later with their eating behaviors. And so, so learning that, you know, fitness in general, you know, by going to the gym and, and doing our workouts, if we don't encompass it as a whole spectrum, then we're really truly missing out on what fitness truly is. I'll tell you, I remember one of my first fitness challenges, I had 30 women together, actually two guys, but I asked them what they were doing there. And one of the women said, well, I, I can't tell you. And I said, well, I said, if you can't say, you can't stay. And I went down the whole list of people and everyone had these tragic stories. One of the women had witnessed her husband had been killed the night before New Year's in a botched mm -hmm. robbery. Another kid could not remember his childhood because he'd been beaten so badly. Mm -hmm. And finally this woman revealed at the end of the night that she'd been molested. Mm -hmm. And so if you're watching this, one of the things that I came to learn and a work that I really take very seriously is things in your past, mm -hmm. if you haven't cleaned out the closet of your past, are affecting your future. Correct. And a lot of us, and I'll put us, I don't know where you are on this, but if something mm -hmm. happened to you in the, in the past that's bad, mm -hmm. you tend to want to hide. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways that you hide is by eating. And if you're larger and you're not attractive to other people, you can't get hurt. Let me share something with you. The best thing that you can do for yourself and for your loved one is to work on that piece of your past, mm -hmm. let it go because it's not happening right now, and reveal the body that I think you were meant to have. It's like, uh, you know, when people have blocks, they put walls up. Mm -hmm. And essentially that's the same thing with eating as you keep eating to put this wall up that actually is, is distancing you away from your loved ones or from, right. you know, other things in your life. And so as you continue this wall, it's the same thing with all of us. If you don't even have the wall, let's say you're reversed the other way. You know, you, you have these mental walls. And if you aren't able to physically and mentally break those walls down, you can't get to the core. Right. Right. So I'm going to give you a little insight into something that I love. Do you know that every animal in nature, there's no other animal in nature that's overweight except humans. Think about mm -hmm. it for a second. Look at giraffes and gazelles and even lions and, and elephants that are big, but they all look exactly the same, right? Mm -hmm. You know why that is? Because they can't ask for seconds, they don't go out for change. <laughs> no, no, it's true. And you know, because <laughs> elephants only get to eat grass, lions only get to eat meat. Yeah. But yeah. we as humans, we can eat anything we want and we've yeah. so messed it up yeah. because we think we can indulge or 
How about my mom used to show love? You know how she did it? Mm. By having dessert at every meal. Mm. We always finished because she loved us so much. My yeah. mom was 260 pounds my entire life. She didn't wear a bathing suit. She didn't go roller skating or bike riding, even swimming with us as mm. kids. And she missed out mm. because something was just kind of off. Uh, speaking of your family, like, have, were you always born with great genetics or oh, something you had to work on? Love, 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 love. <laughs> no, most of my life I struggled. Oh my God. So my mom showed love by food. I grew up, I'm a little bit older than you, just a little bit. Um, in a time when fast food came out. Literally, in, in, when I was a kid, McDonald's and Kentucky Fried Chicken and Arby's and went, they all hit at the same time. And we didn't have a whole lot of money. So you get an entire meal for like three bucks. Mm. And then we had TV dinners because mom didn't cook so much. So my life, my whole life I was what they called chunky. Mm. I wanted to be a dancer. Chunky and dancer don't go together. In fact, it leads for a lot of bullying and a lot of hurt. And most of my life until my late 20s, I suffered because I, I even got a Broadway show. Okay, I'm a very talented actress. When I got the show, they sent me to Overeaters Anonymous. They made me feel terrible. And all oh, I was wow. like, I was like 20 or 30 pounds overweight. Wow. But I was made to feel like a house, and I will tell you, it scarred me for life. Mm -hmm. But, and this is important when you figure out your why, mm -hmm. I don't want anyone else to suffer. Mm -hmm. So I made it my life's work to say, you know what, you don't get to suffer. I'm going to work on, I do a thing called Forbes Factor Live. I do a five-day event in Florida, which you can find out more about when you watch all this, mm -hmm. that takes people out of their pain of suffering. Rather, even though I love working out with people and doing spin gym, I'd rather emotionally tweak you. Absolutely. And then send you off and you can go work them out. Agreed. And, and, and coming back to the same thing, if you don't work from the inside out, it's not truly a transformation, right? Absolutely. Now, you know, when talking about fitness though, because we are fitness professionals, yep. there's all these myths that you guys have or you ladies have about fitness. So let's, let's, let's go through a couple of them. One oh, is, I'm I too love, old. I love the myths. Okay. One is, I'm too old to get <laughs> oh, started. Too old. Yep. Okay. Um, okay, so let's go into the too old one. Um, so I have a little story about that as far as when I turned 25 years old. I started seeing cellulite. I started seeing what they call the, uh, the love handles hanging over my pants. And I just thought, this is what age looks like. This is apparently just you, comes with age. Really? At 25 you thought 100%. that? 100%. I thought... Shame I on thought, our society. Oh my gosh. I thought for sure that this is just something that this, this is what it, it's going to be. And I started to... I, I saw my mind going down the path of... Well, I can't help myself. It was excuse, excuse, excuse of, of well, I'm just going to have to accept this. And so I then looked at my mother, which obesity runs in my family, and looked at my mom, and she had just, I mean, she's absolutely very, very flawless like you. Just I hard love body. I'm going to have this conversation every day because she just called me flawless. Hard, hard body, <laughs> super fit. And, and I just looked, and, and it, it, what an inspiration. And so you what know? did you say when you realized that? Um, well, when I saw her and I was like, wait a minute, if my, if obesity runs in my family and I'm thinking that, you know, I'm, I'm now putting all these excuses in my mind, but then I see older people that look amazing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's something a little bit deeper. She to just this. looked at me when she said older with her hand like that. Who are you going to talk about that, huh? Okay. So I get to look at older people. So if you recognize me from the Jack the Lame Juicer, Jack is the reason that the word fitness exists in the 1940s. He created fitness health clubs, the very first ones. His wife, he passed away uh, seven years ago, but we juiced up until the very end. We actually sold a billion dollars worth of Jack the Lane power juicers. That's kind of how I got to be well known. But last weekend, I hung out with Mrs. Lane. Elaine Lane is turning 93. Wow. Nothing personal, little 25 year old, but 93 yeah. is actually old. No, no. And she does man for, no, but this is what you have to understand. Older than, she, older than me. Yeah. <laughs> she has a size four body. She does push-ups. She mm -hmm. swims every day. She mm -hmm. eats healthy. And she's the picture of health. Her whole philosophy is ARC, art. Attitude, resistance, and consistency. Quoting Elaine here, she smiles. She makes me laugh. Yes. Resistance is resisting against food, but also weight resisting, like you do with booty bands and spin gym. Correct. And consistency is a little bit, you don't have to go nuts. Mm -hmm. This is why when you guys do a New Year's resolution, it doesn't work. And there's two reasons it doesn't work. One, you made some big promise. I'm going to go to the gym every day. And after three days of not going, you're like, I'm a failure. That doesn't work. And number two, nobody's keeping you accountable. And so I'm going to invite you all in because we both have worlds, communities, and we're kind of working on putting them together because they're the same group of people. People who want to get fit but don't go to the gym. Correct. Want to live an amazing life. I don't want to be a gym rat. I just want to look good so I can have a great life, be a great mom, be an awesome... I look good naked. Exactly. And so Put that's, out in all the right places. I like that. <laughs> and so consistency and accountability is, I think, what we're about. 
Absolutely. And, and you know, as you mentioned earlier, as a little girl, you weren't the most attractive. No. <laughs> <laughs> and and neither was I. And so I think there's something about in our past of having to deal with these own pain points and how you mentioned earlier that you don't want to have others deal with this pain point. We want to give them the solutions. We want to say, hey, look, don't go down the path of, of resistance. Go down the path of, of learning how, how to work from that inside out to really find true happiness, true joy, and have success in, er in every area that you wish. And here's a really uh, painful truth, you guys listening. Um, you get one body. If you screw it up, where else are you going to live? And I remember the first time I heard that, well, that's kind of interesting. If you abuse it with alcohol, with tobacco, with too much eating or getting it overweight, it's your body. If you don't choose to go, look, I, I pushed out two seven-pound twins. I have to tell you, I had a 65-inch waist, and if you take my clothes off, which I'm not going to do right now. <laughs> no, no, don't beg me, because I will. Um, there's little stretch marks there. Uh -huh. But you know what? I have two seven-pound healthy children. Beautiful. And so you, you get to, if you want, to get naked in front of the mirror and go, you know what, I love my body. I have a little bit of nothing perfect. I don't know many people who are perfect, by the way. I think Photoshop yes. has destroyed our yes. sense of perfect. Society and, and how, it's, how it's just addressed females in general and how we're supposed to look when we look in the mirror and see that's not perfection. We see the stretch marks, we see the cellulite, we right. see the, the everything else, right? Well, can we talk for a second because we have two amazing products and I just want to play with them. Okay. I want it because I'm going to my, fa my favorite color is pink as you can tell. Yeah. I'm going to take pink booty band. Will you okay. do that? Will you explain? No, okay. For a lot of people watching who don't know what this is okay. and it's genius. So can you talk a little bit about this yes. for me? Absolutely. Okay. So have you ever had the elastic bands in the gym, where you're the, the little rubber bands that cut into your legs. And you said it broke on you, right? Yes, it did. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this was a horrible accident, actually. Yeah. It really was very painful. I, I've had it flip people in the face. I've had it fly across the gym. I've had it hurt. But the biggest thing about it is they usually roll up. Mm -hmm. they, they bundle up and they will tear or they'll bruise or they'll just hurt in general. That's right, because they're about that thick and they're hard plastic. Yes. And one of the biggest things that I'm passionate about is taking before and after pictures with mm -hmm. members. And I throw away the scale. I actually did a huge viral video where I'm smashing a scale with a bat and there's glass going Love everywhere. That. that is a great idea. <laughs> and um, anyways, but what I saw was even with these just, excuse my French, shitty bands. <gasps> I know. Go ahead. Go for it. Come on, girl. <laughs> I, I saw results. I saw amazing results. Right. And I, I just was over constantly buying these these um this crappy product that's in the industry. Mm -hmm. And I said, I want something that's more comfortable, Got something it. that's more durable, something that's not going to break on my customers. Right. I want to be able to show them the workouts because if I have people, I, I have women getting more lifted, round, fuller booties, why can't I give every woman that feeling? To be able to go to the beach and feel super confident and, and to walk around and be like, this is my curves, you know? And I, I, it is, I, to me, I feel like it's about embracing what you currently have, but making it better. Right. And you totally did it. They are very comfortable. They're fun. They come in bright colors. And for your lower body, and obviously we have workouts that do everything, but for your lower body, I don't think there's anything better to really kind of give you that firm lifted tush. Yeah. So now we did lower body. Can we go into upper body? We certainly can go into upper body because I have to tell you, I think Spin Gym, I've sold a lot of products in my time. Yeah, actually what you want to do is want to make sure what you never want to, because I don't want to get them scared. Yeah. And you want to wind your Spin Gym, hold it down here. And also it comes in pink, but also purple, green, and blue. Super and the colorful. cool thing is, because it's not elastic and you give it that tug and release, now for your upper body, you are Tony. Not she, we, went up to, we went up to dinner with each other. It was really fun. And no joke, I was getting a sweat. And I was feeling such a burn in all these places. And what was so cool was the triceps. She had me work in the chest. She had me work in my back. She had me work in my core. It was just a really, really cool upper body that I think is phenomenal that you take to people in the offices as well. She takes it to hospitals for people that just really need that burn and that like that, that muscle to fire. Because I truly believe that if you're, if you're injured and if you feel that you think you should just stop working out and, and you think it just hurts, it's painful, you know, the best thing is to move. It's new blood, new oxygen, and new muscle that really is truly healing your body. Mm -hmm. and it's new life into your body. And when you just sit on the couch, and just don't do anything? I mean, Well, but I'll tell you what, one of the reasons that I created my product, or even in the industry, is that my mom, we talked about her being 260 pounds, 
When I was about 40 years old, I bought her a year-long membership to the gym because I thought, Mom, you've got to move. Mm -hmm. You are just too large. You're not comfortable in your body. She was getting diabetes. Her ankles were swollen. Her back was hurting. And maybe you can relate to all of those things that happen when your frame carries more weight than it's meant to. Correct. So I bought her this year-long expensive membership. I got her to the door, and she looked at me, and she said, I'm not going in. And I said, uh, you're going in? She said, no, I'm not. I'm like, I'm sorry, what's going on here? Mm. She said, I can't go in. I'm like, yes, you can. Here's the door. And what she finally broke down and said was, look, she says, that's fine for you. You're young. Mm. You're fit. You know what to do. If I go in there, oh. I'm going to be embarrassed. I weigh too much. I don't know how to do the gym. There's men in there who are going to look at me, and people are going to laugh because I don't really belong here. And I broke down. I mean, I was so sad. And I thought, you know what? No one should ever feel like that. You shouldn't feel embarrassed because you want to be in a better place. Correct. So my commitment at that age, literally, that's when I started selling home fitness products. Yes. And I said, let me find the thing that empowers anybody and everybody. So whether you're in a wheelchair or you're stuck in the office and you can't get to the gym or you've got kids and you don't have a whole lot of money, these are solutions. And they're actual proven solutions. So you want your booty to look better. You want to burn fat or tone your arms. And I got to tell you, ladies, when you take off your sweater, when mm -hmm. the winter's over and you're left with little flabby things, if there was a way to fix it that was affordable, wouldn't you say yes? If you could look better in your jeans, wouldn't you say yes? So here's the crazy thing. We're going to give you, we're going to take you like the horse to water. Right? Let's put these down for a second. And we're going to show you really cool ways to do this. Mm -hmm. But here's the biggest problem. Mm -hmm. You then say to us, I'm not motivated. I don't want to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. Then what do you do? It's again, it's, it's essentially why we're here, more than fitness. Mm -hmm. It's again, working from the inside out. And of course, we can give you the products and the tools and the workouts and the diet, but really that mindset. Where is that self-love to truly take yourself to that mirror and say, I'm going to do whatever it takes to really get me there. So what we've done and what we're going to continue to do is to bring you a series of videos. And hopefully you respond by going, wow, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know many people who have this conversation. We're not standing here in our bikinis going, hey, you can look amazing. No, I'm going to tell you, you can look amazing because number one, your abs and your body is actually made in the kitchen. So what if we told you we're going to bring you fun, easy recipes? You have amazing recipes, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And I've got some great secrets because I'm all about taste. Jack Lane used to get all over me. He's like, if it, does, if it tastes good, spit it out. I'm like, Jack, I'm so sorry. I'm a girl. I don't want to eat protein, cardboard, yucky things. I want things that taste great. So my commitment is recipes that are flavorful yeah. and delicious, but they're also really fast. I don't have a lot of time. I'm a busy working mom. So you're saying it's not starving yourself? That's not how to do it? Oh, you know what I did in terms of about starving? I actually changed the word diet. You, know? okay, so you here's tell diet. me this. I love this. Get a pen. Please get a pen. Nobody has pens anymore. Did you notice? Everyone's got cell phones. Okay, write it in your cell phone. <laughs> D-I-E-T. Decisions I eat today. Mm-hmm. It's not about counting calories. Nope, it's not. It's not about going, well, I need too, too little fat or too much fat or this diet or that. Every time you go to sit down to a meal, look at the meal. Mm -hmm. Now, you need to listen to us to understand the value of foods. Yes. Because there's all kinds of things that I'll bet you don't know. See, the difference between you and us is really that we spend our time getting educated. Searching, asking questions, just just diving into it. Rather than being scared and, and, uh, and nervous about it, it's really... Like the beautiful it. thing about listening to you and I go out and I'd love to eat dinner with both of you and your partner because you guys are very smart about foods. It's great to go out with people who know what they're doing. They make cool decisions on a menu. Yes. But what if we compress time for you? What if we said, I don't need you to read every diet book or every journal out there because we've done the work for you. Oh, yeah. And then yes. we just say, hey, here's a list of really cool recipes that yes. are going to be delicious. Yes. What if we asked you then to share some of those photos with us? Because, again, that community thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know every recipe. You don't know every recipe. But I'll bet you guys all do. I bet you, as a community, we know every single recipe ever designed. And right? that's, again, where the community comes into play is, is it's not just changing the world with just one person. I really, truly feel that when you start linking hands together. And, and the biggest thing is the comparison, you know, mm. that I wanted to bring up really quick. As, as females, it's this comparison amongst ourselves. And when you put it into a community feel, mm. it starts taking that comparison away and starts actually developing a strength amongst us that we, we, we want to support each other. It's about uplifting. It's about empowering. It's about motivating. And when you start to see that in a community, that you start to see somebody go into a vulnerable place and put up a picture that it makes right. them feel a little bit you know, self-conscious and, uh, you know, oh, I don't know if I should do this. But then you get people that go, oh my gosh, girl, you look amazing. Like, you know, this isn't one day, it's day one. It's just oh, it's, it's it. such a beautiful journey to, to really honestly go down that. But I think that is spectacular. And I'll t I, I have another theory. I have theories about everything. But <laughs> the difference between men and women. 
See, mm. boys typically do sports together. They Love play on teams. They play football. They play basketball. They play baseball. We women have to try to get on the football team. It's all right, right? But you know what we women do? We do beauty pageants where we go, oh, look at you. You're more beautiful. We oh. put a crown mm -hmm. on the one woman, the Miss America, the Miss Universe, the Miss... You know what? Bikini competition, same thing. Ugh, I hate that. I just do because I, I don't really want to compare it to you. So I'm yeah. going to say, you know what? I don't need that competition. What I need personally is I need your support. I need your support. And I love this. I love yeah. that I've grown older. I have goosebumps, older. by the way. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you. Okay, here's another little insight. Okay. I have a daughter and I have a son, but my daughter taught me a very interesting lesson. Little girls are mean. Little girls bully each other. They really do when they're little. I don't, I, I, it was the same for me watching my daughter. Yeah. When we grow up, though, and this is the cool thing about being a woman, and it's one of the last things I want to share with you from my heart, yeah. is that the best thing you can do as a woman is look at her and go, you know mm. what? I'll bet as gorgeous as she is, she's been through some stuff. Oh, let me tell you. <laughs> I don't want to trade places with anyone because we women, mm -hmm. as a group of people, as a gender, we have it tough. Mm -hmm. We have to spend hours doing our hair, our makeup, our nails. Mm -hmm. We have to put up with sometimes abusive relationships, abusive parents, abusive, that we've all hidden. Mm -hmm. And the more work that I've done, I feel more like you. Mm -hmm. See, in the old days, I would have looked, truthfully, as a little girl, I would look at her going, oh my God, her prayer is so pretty and she's got a great body. Mm -hmm. Screw it, you know what? Congratulations that you mm -hmm. look this way, but mm -hmm. I'm not trading places with you. Mm -mm. Absolutely not, yeah. And so that self-acceptance and acceptance of each other is I think what this whole conversation is about, yeah? Yeah, it is, and you know what, it, again, it goes back to starting from the inside. Mm -hmm. Does it not? Absolutely. Because because your journey and where you've been is you've been able to develop the most beautiful inside out woman that you are. Right, no one appreciate that. And, and so that's why she would never want to exchange yeah. Because she knows her truest beauty, which radiates completely about you because it is from that core. And when you develop that core, core beauty, you don't care. You're, you're happy. That, that's, that's your rock, you know? Mm. All right, so we're going to end each show with a favorite quote of ours. We've got a lot of quotes that we both love. Mm. Let's share one of your favorites with everybody. Okay. You can never change the world by trying to be like the world. Oh, I like that. Okay, so one of mine, and by the way, you want to tune in because we've got a lot of quotes. Yeah. I'm going to pick one of mine. One of mine is begin with the end in mind. And so what does that mean? That means, yes, you want a vision board. Yes, you want to, when you start a journey, you want to know where you end. And my favorite story about begin with the end in mind mm -hmm. is also about success. And so there was a gentleman who walked through the forest, and he kept seeing a bullseye with an arrow dead center on all these trees. Like it was bullseye arrow, bullseye arrow, bullseye arrow. I said, wow, that's must be some great marksman. Mm. Finally, there's a guy over there, and he's got a whole thing of arrows, and he's kind of walking out with his bow, and the guy says, hey, did you do all that? And the guy says, mm-hmm. He said, could you give me the secret? He said, mm-hmm. It's very simple. You fire the arrow first, and then you draw the bullseye. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> so here's the point. We want you to like be that. happy and healthy from the inside out. As we're going to tell you, it's not about struggling through diets and pains. Yeah. We have the coolest fitness products that I think you should definitely invest yourself and invest your time in. With but, communities. Yes, but just know that the end here is that it's friendship, it's love, and self-acceptance. Yeah? Absolutely. It really is. All right, so for more than fitness, I'm Forbes Riley. And Danita Young. And we'll see you again next time. Awesome. Wrapping up, we hope that this left you with some valuable information that you can help with improving your mind, your body, and your life. Really, we're about helping you step into your best self, and that's why we do these weekly, so that we can hear from you and how it resonated. So go ahead and write us a review, and we will pick weekly giveaways on our unique booty bands to give away. So thank you guys so much for listening. It was awesome having you on. I'm very excited to leave your review. Make sure to hit subscribe so that you can get notified on any future podcasts that come out. And of course, join the community and join the app called Booty Bands and Barbells, where you'll find us in the workouts, the meal plan, and of course, all the fun challenges. I'll see you soon, and I'll see you in the workouts.